Hello again, human beings of the planet Earth. I was just sitting here in my car having a smoke and starting to read the today's paper, the Conway Daily Sun, you know, anticipating an opportunity to assault the media. And lo and behold, before I turned the first page, I found it. Uh, this is a reprint of a New York Times article. ADHD seen in 11% of U.S. children as diagnoses rise. Nearly one in five high school age boys in the United States and 11% of school age children overall have received a medical diagnosis of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, according to new data from the Federal Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. These rates reflect a marked rise over the last decade and could fuel growing concern among many doctors that the ADHD diagnosis and its medication are overused in American children. The figures show that an estimated 6.4 million children ages 4 to 17 had received an ADHD diagnosis at some point in their lives, a 16% increase since 2007 and a 53% rise in the past decade. About two-thirds of those with a current diagnosis receive prescriptions for stimulants like Ritalin or Adderall, which can drastically improve the lives of those with ADHD but can also lead to addiction, anxiety, and occasionally psychosis. Now, first of all, I'm surprised they even listed the side effects, but maybe it's the fact that you can't avoid it anymore, the lamestream media. But I can tell you that they have neglected to inform you that marijuana is a very safe an effective treatment for attention deficit and hyperactivity disorder. And I know it's a sensitive issue because this is our children. But do some research. I'm not going to provide you a link because I have over and over. There's links up the fucking ass. It's time for you to do some research and protect your kids. Okay? Everybody will have a label. And everybody will have a pill to cor correct the issue that is on the label. Bullshit. Assault the media on a regular basis.